Good morning, guys. I'm here to talk about my garden. I'm giving you a, an aerial view today because it's Saturday. Me and the kiddo go doing our running around on Saturday mornings. And I'm looking at it here. And right in this area here is where I want to put those autumn joys. Uh, when I look down from this angle, I think what I could get away with would be four plants. So I'm going to try my luck. I'm going to hit up Home Depot and Lowe's Flower Garden and see if they have any leftovers. If not, no harm done. It's always good to see what's out anyway. So I'll catch up with you later. Okay, so we made it to Lowe's. We're going to see what they have here. Just me and the kiddo. Hi, Lana. She's ignoring me. Anyway, let's see if they got anything. Oh, yeah. Looking for summer flowers and I'm walking by Christmas. Oh, Christmas. A lot is excited about it, though. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Let's see what perennials I got. Okay, here we are. Let's go for a little walkie. Tons of mums and pansies. I don't want any of that crap. Let's come down here though. All right, Lana, we're looking for perennials. Any leftover perennials? And I'm seeing some. We've got daisies, which I am not interested in today. There's only one thing that I want. What's on this side here though? Full sun, six plus hours. Yeah, no, that's not gonna do it. Let's keep looking. So we do have some on this side. What, these are not autumn joys. They do like full sun though. What is it? Oh, Gora. Let's see what's on this side. I see something over there. Nope, that's not sedums, but I'm gonna look. Whatever it is, it's really pretty. Look how pretty. What is it? It is. Oh, a dianthus. Gotcha. Uh oh. Uh oh. That might be it for our perennials, huh? We got these two here because that's all Christmas. Those are vegetables back there. And then let's look on this side just to make sure. Yeah, see, I was hopeful when I saw the black-eyed Susans. I'm like, man, wouldn't that be cool if they had what I was looking for? Maybe I, maybe they still do, though. Keep our hopes up. Um, partial. No, I don't want any of that stuff either. I don't want grasses. That's on this side. More daisies. Pansies. Pansies. What do we got over here? Rhododendrons. Well, I do not believe I am going to, because yeah, this is all shrubbery. All the shrubbery, I do not think they have any autumn joys. It looks like I'm going to grab them up. These are pretty though. Look at those flowers and leaves, love it. All right, now we go to Home Depot. Okay, we just got to Home Depot. Right over here, I see some perennials. So we're gonna start there. Fingers crossed. Let's see what we got here. These look like the same plants they had over at Lowe's. So all of these are winter perennials. I'm not dealing with all of this stuff. I don't want any of this shit. Though these are at least pretty, they're purple. I don't know. I don't like brown flowers. I don't like that, you know? Like that, yuck. All right, well, let's see if the garden center doors are open. We'll walk inside over there. All right, here we go. I see all the annual signs up front. I don't know if they have any or what we saw outside is it. These are all annuals. Let's come down this middle row here. Look at that. They're still selling it. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. I can't do anything with that this time of year, though. Mm. I was hopeful, guys. I was hopeful when I saw this lineup because I saw some variety happening. And they are very pretty, but I'm looking for something very specific, you know? And their annuals, 
They got annuals mixed in with the perennials. How dare they? <laughs> oh my God, and Michael Jackson is on the radio. I gotta turn it off now. See you in a few minutes, guys. It's project time now. Shane just picked up Lana. The girls are hanging out uh, for the afternoon. And so I'm gonna work on one of Lana's birthday presents. Remember a few videos back, I was telling you about all of the beetle buttons. So since Lana's not here, it's given me a chance to finish lining all of these up. So as I work on this, I'll share it with you. So there it is, guys. I got them all done. My fingers hurt. I can't even, oh my God. How many in total are, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times eight is 64 minus three, 61. If I did that, if I did that correctly, I'm proud of myself. I'm not good at math. But anyway, that's 61 pins. My, my point if my pointer finger hurts. Anyway, enough with my whining. So I am three short in total. I'm not, I don't care. Whatever that, that is what the design has presented itself to be. So, um, what I'm going to do is you probably believe been wondering why I have such a large piece of fabric here. I had no idea when I started this project how large this was going to turn out to be. So it was easier to start with like a big canvas, so to speak. And now I'm going to sew it out and trim it down to size. And I might even cut a corner on it at this point, you know, just draw attention to it. All right, here we go. I thought this was cute, so I thought I'd show you guys. All three cats are in the window right now. There's Simon. He's hiding in the little cubby there. Bob is sleeping in the carrier. And Julia is hanging out up there. <laughs> They're enjoying the hot sun. It could be 80 degrees today. Anyway, back to sewing. Okay, so what's next? Is I'm going to trim this to shape and then I'm going to sew a few times around it. And I'm going to come with my pinking shears. And that edge on it is going to give it a nice little soft edge to it. It prevents it from fraying with some fabrics in the wash. And it's a lot easier than doing a traditional, like, fold over kind of edging. I'm not going to go with that. It's too much work. So th this is clean and simple and easy. Um, so anyway, let's do, actually, we're going to go, I'm going to go straight to these. So if I came an inch out, It's done. So look at that. <laughs> oh, we need to do this side. Actually, I should do it on this side here to make sure that gets. Like this is a cotton fabric, so the pinking shears will prevent that from fraying. So that's really nice. All right, and I will trim it a little bit, but I want to do a couple more rounds on the sewing machine. So. Uh-oh, I ran out of thread. 
temperamental. So it's going to just be some single stitching on this one. And I'm going to trim it up and make it look nicer, though. More balanced in shape there. And honestly, it's not going to fall apart anyway. I just thought it would look nice to have that. But it, it isn't worth the headache. I've got a low patience for uh, things not working properly. <laughs> so let's just clean it up, though. There it is. There it is. I hope that's in good frame. Let me check. Okay. How about there? So what's really nice about this is, it looks, for Lana especially because she's autistic, is it's a sensory toy. There's a light, kind of a light sound, you know, when you hear it. They're all smooth and kind of cool, kind of soothing in that way. You know, so we have sound. We have touch, and then we have visual with all of the different pictures. I don't know that there's one double in here. Maybe this one. I don't know. It's like that old game of concentration. Is that what it was where you had to match the things behind the squares? Anyway, so that that's Lana's birthday present. So I'm going to go and get it wrapped up and put it away. Mm -hmm.